हेलो एवरीवन ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस इज निर्भय चौहान फ्रॉम एक लव्या सेल्फ लर्न ट्यूटोरियल्स वेल टुडे दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल सो बिस के वी आर हैविंग अ सीरीज दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर द डिटेल्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द बिम वर्क पंच बेसिकली हाउ टू परफॉर्म द एक्शन इन द बिम वर्क पंच सो विल वील गोइंग विद द स्टेट फॉरवर्ड अप्रोच so if you see here when you open your free cad so in the window you can see this workbench is so straight away we have to opt for the bim workbench fine now let's create a new file so from extreme left corner this new file or from the file also you can click and create new file or control plus n now you'll get this blank screen now in this blank screen there are several options here in terms of specifically for bim workbench along with the combination of arc workbench tools draft workbench tools and some of the constraints here okay so let's not get confused in each of these things let's keep the things that is pretty simple so the first thing that you have to do is if you go on the top here manage so the very first thing that comes to you is the bim setup followed by manage project views manager and so and so things now let's start with the bim setup thing so this first tutorial we're focusing on bim setup and managing the project so these two things are pretty important for us in the first session let's go step by step so that we do not face much of the confusion in this so let's start with very first thing that is a bim setup okay so just click on it so here we'll have a pop out of a window which is a dialog box so these are some very basic settings you can save them as a preset also okay for your further use now here we have some default values for like fill with default value we are choosing as preference system as per the preferences let's not touch it second thing we have for the 3d view background color which you can see here gray and white light gray some gradient basically so this you can see here only which i have chosen here <clears throat> the top color is this one you can pause the uh, video here and copy this or you can see the html code also and for the bottom i have chosen this one so this is so far i have chosen this thing uh, for the betterness of the eyes so the strain cat could be less blue color of actually spreads a lot and can be harmful for continuous eye staring then we have geometric color the faces color okay the helper and the construction all those things now we have the prefer unit system which is millimeter we keeping keeping by default number of decimals 2 default size of the grid scale which we see by default that we have kept as 1000 mm by default as free cat preferences then we have main grid line every 10 squares okay then we have the default default grid position this is auto continuous adapter current view okay this you can choose mm, by your preference but let it keep auto only so that it can adjust automatically based on the working plane we'll discuss working plane later then we have default text size okay uh text size here default that we can keep because sometimes when we ever make any text we do not see that so let's keep a default text size of 500 mm okay next we have default font which is okay or you can have the fonts of your own also here you have plenty of fonts here you can use any one as per your choice so i think this default of msl dlg is quite okay or you can use times new roman or calibri or this sigoi ui okay so let's use this sigoi ui by default then we have default line width so when you create multi line comments so that basically this is based on two pixels okay on the screen basically so that's we are keeping default let's not to touch that then default dimension slice style we are using thick slash two slash like that and a line this also you can change like dot or arrow or slash okay so what i prefer here is uh let's go for the thick slash option only this is better one then we have default dimension arrow size let's keep it as it is 
then for the default author for new file so I have kept my name Nirbhay Chauhan you can have any name here as per your recommendation and then the license attribute so I have kept all rights reserved you can have copyright by some 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 all those things so I can choose this suppose copyright by okay all those type of things so let's so let's use CC by NC okay then default workbench so whenever we open the window default workbench should be Bing workbench fine uh, then moving forward we have here is next if we see we have open new document at startup which is ok take is there so that when we open free care show me not, not, not be an empty window uh, new unnamed document should be there just like we have here also then number of backup files this you can change as per, different issue, as per your recommendation let it be one then the default camera altitude when we open a window so I kept it five units so which is okay fine now let's click ok here so this is BIM setup is ready now next thing is important go to manage now we have the manage project if you click on it we have some very interesting settings here this you can save as preset so what do we need to do exactly right now so now we are into the document the main unit setups have we has been done now the project build up has to be done here so now we are doing is we want to create a new document okay project name so let's keep the project name as um, my project fine add a human figure so when we open a specification after this we'll get a default 2d human figure surface basically so next thing is we want to create a site so basically all those things are basically there are different approaches when you're going for the free CAD you can follow any of it as per your own choice you can create grouping you can follow this BIM approach or you can just independently model but when we actually want to export a file into IFC that is industry foundation classes and open format for BIM there we have to follow a very specific routine or a, or an approach so for that we need a site in that we need some buildings in that building we need different stories and then that stories can have your components like column beams wall slab etc doors windows so this is something that we need to follow strictly okay so now we are saying create site okay create site object then the name for the site you can name it as my site you can write address also you can say it as India let it be you can mention your specific latitude and longitude parameters also you can make it as accurate as you want and declination of the site elevation anything then we have as I told you earlier the proper beam approach site inside site there are building so we're saying create a building so this building already tick is there you can name it as here only you can I can say it as my building you can name anything as per your requirement now we're defining the use for the building so the use you can choose undefined or you can have some uses here let's go to residential and we can say a house it can be anything now it comes a gross building length and width this is basically the plot area this is also you can say not necessary this is all, all uh, you can say based on your choice or wish but this can also be useful so we can say the gross building length that we have um, let it be 10 meters you can just write unit here and it will automatically convert so this is a 10 meters width can be like 15 meters let's say small house very small so number of vertical axes vertical axis on the plan so how we want to divide our uh, building basically these axes are basically the term here axis is a very separate topic uh, I'll create a very detailed uh, tutorial on that this is used basically to array your components or to control your components on the intersection of the axis just like intersection of the grids so you can place your beams your structural components there and how they get replicated so this is for that so right now we won't be messing in the axis part so we can go into it also if you want but that needs a very separate tutorial so we'll go into that but if you want let's say we need total number of vertical axes as 2 okay and the distance between the axes uh, let it be 3 meters 
number of horizontal axes also we want two sufficient and distance between three meters is fine now you can see we are getting a grid cross and on the intersection points there we can place our columns this is how itself I'll show you that in next tutorial then we have the line width which is 2 is fine axis color let it be default you can change also then number of level which is very essential you can create manually also all the components that we are discuss discuss discussing here like the axis the number of levels floors you can create independently also but let's create a level by our own so we need levels like a ground floor a first floor and if you want to duplex so so far let's have two levels only okay level height that it be 3.1 meters now we want to bind levels to vertical axis fine define a working plane for each level which is also fine okay and then you can add default groups if you want uh, we don't need them so far but these groups are basically helpful if you see so we can as I just discussed earlier if I rewind the video I discussed there are many approaches so one approach is beam approach then we have for the grouping approach but there is another one if we use both in combination the grouping along with the beam approach so grouping basically helps you when you want to keep your components like external walls in some particular group internal walls in particular group columns beams in particular groups this is just like creating a folders just like you go to my computer D drive and then there are folders for songs Hindi songs English songs Spanish songs just like that as you're grouping them similarly like that so um, let's have grouping here okay two groups here adding and you can save this process also as for your recommendation and let's click OK now what you will see you can see here a default ready-made you can say a plan or your uh, ready-made thing that you can use on the go you can see here you have this person on the ground floor level 0 you can, you can see level 1 at uh, 3100 millimeters and then you can see here these axes these are uh, normally we say them grids but in grids are different component here in free care we'll discuss that also how this is versus the axis these are axes basically uh, horizontal axis and vertical axis basically and you can see there all the components defined and then there we have the working plane groups these are working planes so let me show you quickly in the manage tab only let's switch on the views manager these are the views manager let's place them here yeah so you can see my building level 0 these are the these different views so let me just go tree view only so first we have the my site it has certain properties that we just defined following my building you can just see here all the properties and then we have the building layout all these things your building outline okay your building label you can see here this is my this one its size you can change as per your wish so if I just say 1000 mm you can see the size changes let it be default you can change this orientation also let's say center and it will change okay this is all as per your wish basically so let's keep it default only then we have the human figure this you can switch on switch off by just pressing clicking on this figure and just pressing space bar key then we have the access very important topic it requires a separate tutorial which we will discuss obviously in this axis if you ex expand it you have the horizontal axis in the form of A and B vertical axis in the form of 1 and 2 here also I'll just show you quickly in horizontal axis you can see the properties bubble size you can change the bubble size also uh, 100 you can see this is quite small now or you can say 1000 which is quite big so by default was 715 and you can choose you need bubbles on both sides or on just one side just like this okay let's prefer both sides only uh, then we have the start numbering and uh, in the data basically sorry in the view only if you see here we have the numbering pattern which is ABC you can choose this also you can choose 1 2 3 but 1 2 3 we have for the vertical axis 
here we have ABC you can choose small ABC you can see this changes occurred here in inst inst uh, instantly changes occur here simultaneously okay so let's keep ABC only similarly for the vertical axis now let's go to the level axis these levels you can see these lines for these also these are also axes but just rotated for these you have a pattern of 1 2 3 uh, we can say them as L01 L02 which is quite fine okay this is how the things works their naming pattern everything then you have the font name all those things uh, label you can switch on switch off okay so this was a part of the axis and the level axis then followed by the levels this you can see and this level those were the axes and these are indi individual levels these are the you can say stories where your objects will be contained so if you open level 0 you can see this work plane if I just zoom in here this is a dedicated work plane for your working similarly for level 1 you can see because you can switch it switch on and then the respective properties how you can change the font size line width okay these are all actually based on your understanding and your requirement fine so this was the first thing that we have covered so far which is quite handy and quite quick when you practice it but at the very first stage which is very essential for the project setup you can see everything is set up here and then you can start your working on it you can place your components level wise you can start modeling and then we also discuss the tech draw workbench how you can create drawings create sections and place on your tech draw drawing sheet and export to pdf or svg so these type of things okay so see you in the next one take care guys goodbye thanks and if you like the video uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel we will have some many helpful videos coming for far comment uh, you can also comment me if you have any doubt and for the comments also I'm looking forward your essential queries and then uh, so that following that we can create some uh, follow-up tutorials for your uh, ready reference and you can just refer that doubt and that particular video for your quick reference okay thank you guys thank you so much see you